listeners, what do you think are your favorite foods? What are the most, your favorite superfoods? What do you think has the most nutrition, just the best thing you can have? And everyone has different opinions. In my opinion, I have three foods that I think are the greatest foods ever. And I mean, you can live just on them and you'll be not only completely satisfied in terms of getting all the nutrition your body requires, but you'll feel amazing. You'll be like superhuman. So this is my opinion. Again, it, it varies from different people, but nonetheless, these are three amazing, amazing foods that if you're not getting in your diet, I recommend getting them in your diet as fast as you can. First one is pollen. So pollen you can get in different forms. You can get bee pollen, which is basically just comes in these nice little granulated forms here, which is basically just when the bees collect all the pollen from the honey, bee farmers, they'll put a little, a little thing that when they go into their hive, and just some of the bee pollen gets knocked off. Some of, I learned a lot of it still goes to the bees. They get it for what they want. But some of it gets knocked off. So basically it's a concentrated amount of different pollen. And it forms these little granules. It's dried. You can get it fresh if you're lucky, which is a very nice little tasty treat. And they last for a very long time. Why is this a superfood? Why do I love this food so much? It's got everything you need. It literally has every nutrient you can imagine in it. Okay, it's a complete protein source. So again, you're looking for protein. If you eat bee pollen, you've got all the protein you need. It is packed with minerals. It has like 90 plus minerals. All the minerals you could ever think of are in there. It's got tons of vitamins. Yeah, I said proteins. It's just got everything you need all compacted in these nice little granules, which you can eat however you want. So it's one way of getting bee pollen. And there's many time, many different kinds. Personally, I like this brand, Jara Bee Pollen, which is from Australia. It comes from the Jara tree, which is these wild trees that only bloom every other year. So every two years, and only for a short period of time. But there is companies that sell it, and it's, it's the best. It tastes so good. Um, compared to other bee pollen. Not that they taste bad, but it just, in my opinion, tastes the best. And it's got tons of stuff in it. It's got everything you need. I can't just name everything, because it's got everything. Other forms of pollen would be things like pine pollen. Pine pollen is an amazing food in and of itself. It's one of the top pollens you can get. I don't know if you ever see a pine tree in March or different seasons of the year. They open, not the pine cones, but they have these other little mini cone things that release this pollen, this powder into the air. You might have seen it, you might not have. But it's an amazing thing which you can harvest on your own if you live in an area with pine trees. And it's they're everywhere, pretty much. It's got so much stuff in it. It's got all the vitamins and minerals, just like the bee pollen, just like every pollen. Every mineral, complete protein source. But pine pollen in particular has... Um, testosterone in it. So if you're trying to build muscle, especially for guys, it'll pump up your testosterone amazingly. But it won't overboard you. It's not like taking a steroid. It's like a natural steroid in a way that it'll do everything you get from a steroid, but it won't have any harmful effects on your body. And it won't get you carried away with all kinds of crazy stuff. You won't go insane and get all... But more than that is it's it's so close to human um, testosterone in its genetic structure that it does exactly what you need but it's slightly different in enough that your body won't stop producing testosterone if you take it which it will do with steroids you people take these artificial anabolic steroids um, your body stops producing that naturally because it's getting it in from this other source. So with the pine pollen, you're safe, your body will still produce it, but it's like an extra boost. For women, don't worry about it, you're not gonna turn into a man by taking some pine pollen. Maybe if you just eat tons of bottles of it every day, but taking, adding some to your food, adding some to your diet is a great way to get tons of nutrition and balance off that, that estrogen. Reason why a lot of women have trouble losing weight compared to men is because of estrogen. Estrogen creates, um, fat in your body, especially around the tummy area, which is why older women going through menopause and things, even if they were like very skinny their whole life, they start to develop a little bit of belly fat. It's because their body stops producing t 
uh, progesterone at that age so the estrogen takes over and estrogen is a great hormone it's really good for you everyone needs it but it needs to be controlled it's like that crazy crazy little kid you have that it's lots of fun it's great but you need to control that otherwise you're just gonna go crazy and draw all over the walls and break everything so testosterone is a great way to control estrogen which is why men have it generally pretty controlled unless they're crazy with soy which has a lot of testosterone um, estrogen in it so anyway pollen first one amazing food get into your diet you'll love it look up different kinds of pollen everything 